McGraw Design Bow Ring. You don't even have to buy anything, not a single product to have a chance to win. They're going to give away three a day, every day for the rest of the month. So thanks for being here today. We will see you next time. Today on an all new Dr. Phil. People worldwide have already got chipped and the trend seems to be growing. You can download and install application right into your body to give your appendages abilities they were never meant to. Whenever I'm doing my hair and I drop bobby pins on the floor, it's really handy. All the doors in my life just open at my command. What about the concerns? We don't know what the effects are. We know they're not good. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today is going to be a changing day in your life. Five, four. Get ready to take care of you. Well, technology is constantly evolving, and every day there seems to be something new and innovative to keep up with. Companies can even scan your face or listen to your voice for identity verification. Nowadays, you don't even need these or these. It seems like everything you need is stored right here, of course, right? You all know that. I even used my e-wallet the other day. Not sure I did it right, but they let me go. <laughs> but let's take it a step further. What if you could unlock your car, open your door, or place a call with just this? And how would you do that? Well, you would put it here in your arm. Yes, today we're talking all about human microchipping surgically adding implants underneath your own skin to store and access information. Open and close doors, pay for groceries, unlock safes and other useful tasks. Now you may have heard about microchipping animals, right? But 50,000 people worldwide now have been chipped in recent years and the trend seems to be growing. Take a look. Microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we tackle many everyday tasks. The technology can make some tasks easier and reduce the amount of personal items employees need to carry. The controversial trend and how it could put your privacy at risk. In a Stockholm business complex, employees gain access not with key cards, but with a wave of a hand. This is something that you can use just like a key badge. I use this to unlock my smartphone, to open the door to my office. Showblot calls himself a biohacker. We think that the human body is a good start, but there is certainly room for improvement. The first step in that improvement is getting a microchip about the size of a grain of rice slipped under the skin. Suddenly, the touch of a hand is enough to tell the office printer this is an authorized user. The chips have been implanted in animals for years to help identify lost pets. Now, even a car door can be tweaked to open with a touch. But each touch leaves a digital footprint, and that can compromise privacy. This is serious stuff. We're talking about a nonstop potential connection to my body. I can't turn it off. It's about educating the people and giving every person the tools, not only how to use the technology, but more importantly, when it's being used against you. So, why are some humans injecting these rice-sized chips into their body using this small tool? Um, is this the wave of the future? Or just a few radicals taking a risk? Now, some of my guests today say they are seriously concerned with the ethical, medical, and privacy implications. But my first guest, Anastasia, disagrees. I say she disagrees a lot because she has 47 implants and counting. And you won't believe what she says she can control from underneath her skin. 
At the moment, I have 47 implants in my body and I plan to get more. A lot of the implants I have in my body are microchips. I have 32 in me right now. I have microchips everywhere. I have one in my calf, I have them in my hands, I have them in my forearms, I have them in my ears, I have them in my shoulder, I have them in my chest. I have a microchip in my right thigh actually that when scanned with a phone, it calls 911. I've also implanted 14 magnets and a microcomputer. I'm a magician and what a lot of people might not realize is a lot of magic is done with magnets. I have them all in my hands. I have them all down my arms. I have a magnet here in my tragus that lets me have secret hearing, which is really cool. I can hold my makeup compact. I can hold it there. I can hold it there. I especially love the magnets because I like to walk around and feel the electromagnetic fields vibrating in my body. Some people think this is really weird, but I feel like I have superpowers. I've had a few implants that have given me some problems. The first version of the computer that I had in my thigh cracked and I wasn't aware and in its cracking of the case it allowed my body fluids and the computer to all mix in together and tons of other heavy metals so yeah there's been some concerns. I really feel like microchipping could be the wave of the future. I think that as people learn more about microchips and see all the conveniences they can bring into their lives I think more and more people will be more comfortable with it and I can't imagine my life without it so I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon. Anastasia, welcome. Thank you. The thing that really jumped out at me with this secret hearing, mm -hmm. uh, so what does that mean? Well, I have a magnet in my ear inside a glass case. So it's kind of like a chip, but it's a magnet inside glass. And if I wear a hairpiece that I've made that I use when I'm performing magic, it has a Bluetooth receiver in it with a copper wire induction coil, or I don't know if it's inducing, but it's basically vibrating the magnet in my ear the same way the magnet in your speakers work. So. I remove all the other part of the speakers and with this copper wire receiving the Bluetooth from my phone, I can hear inside my head what nobody else can hear. They're kind of like built-in earphones. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you have 47 I do. implants. Yeah, quite a bit. So do you weigh more? I mean, is it... Like, <laughs> I hope not. These things don't weigh a lot. No, they don't weigh a lot. I have probably the largest and heaviest ones are the big magnets. You can kind of see them here under my arm. Oh, yeah, okay. You can unlock your medicine cabinet with your right hand, mm -hmm. and you have two circular magnets that you chose to pick up metal objects. A lot of metal uh, objects. Yeah. Do you ever pick up things you don't mean to? I do, every time I eat at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory's cutlery just comes to me, like, <laughs> and it just attaches, and then it'll attach and swing onto the floor and crash, and I always have to apologize for the behavior. <laughs> Let's take a, a deeper look at this. So. We've got a table here. Let's see what these magnets do here. Okay. So um, these bobby pins, like, so whenever I'm doing my hair and I drop bobby pins on the floor, it's really handy to have these. And it's easy for me to get my magnets up, or my bobby pins, sorry, up off the floor. Yeah. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, though, when you're trying to get stuff off your hands, when you have magnets on both hands. So yeah, I purposely I so. only I put one so. over here. Okay. So I can always remove them from the other hand. Oh, okay. Well, you've still got about 100 of them there. <laughs> okay. okay. Like I said, the heavy cutlery at Cheesecake Factory, you can swing it um, much like this. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Oh, this is better if it's right on the skin. Hold on. I'm like a human clock. Yeah. Not actually. <laughs> <laughs> My clock needs repairs. And then what do you do with the phone? I can scan things. So for example, if I were to have a chip in my heart, scan the chip, it should show Oh, wow. Thing. Yeah, no, it's doing it. No. This is the day I married my best friend. This shows you my wedding video. And you can reprogram the chips over and over and over again to do things. Yeah, OK. So if you're tired of carrying around your car keys, for my next guest, the solution was simple. He got a microchip. So we're going to talk to him after the break. What's fascinating to me is, just like your phone, you can download and install applications right into your body to give your appendages abilities they were never meant to. I feel like I have a superpower. And later... When people assume that when something is available for sale, it is safe, but it is never tested uh, for these long-term health effects. What we get uh, are... Well, that's not true. There is nothing hotter than real, honest-to-goodness love. Mama wanna tell you where it's at, I wanna get that. 
I was made for this. Get with it or get lost. You dropped the ball big time. I'm throwing y'all my very own Miami Yacht Park. It just shook up all of the dynamics. Y'all ready for this? Let's go again. One more. One more, man. Oh, man. All right, little bro. Want more? Ginger root, Mother Nature? I know it's natural, but I'm using this to stay healthy. That's natural, too. Oh. oh. Defendies with zinc. Take daily to boost immunity. It works naturally. This is exactly why we chose leaf filter. Before leaf filter, our gutters would get so clogged. I used to have to climb up on that roof. Leaf filter was a lifesaver. The leaf filter installation process was so simple and easy. When the salesman gave us interest-free financing and the price was right, it was a no-brainer. Our downspouts flow freely now. My home is better protected. Thank you, leaf filter. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or go to GetLeafFilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Call or log on today and save 15%. Greetings, travelers. The Wanda card from Credit One Bank bestows points for all my journey's expenses, like rental cars, hotels, flights, feasts. Get up to 10 times the points on hotels and rental cars when you book through the Credit One Bank Travel Partner. Visit CreditOneBankTravel.com. This year, don't waste time and money on paper cards. Get Jib Jab and make you and your family and friends the stars. They have hundreds of hilarious holiday cards to choose from. Plus a free mobile app for texting. Visit JibJab.com today to share the holiday laughs. Next on Love and Maritimesville. I think I saw an interview and uh, they asked Mel how she doing with Martel's new boo thing. Oh. She felt probably happier when he was leveling down. Mm -hmm. But the level up is kind of a gut punch. Hey, Martel. Hey, what up? Hey, don't keep me outside all this damn Yeah, heat. it's outside today. You gonna invite me to that house? Don't play with me like that. Love and Marriage Huntsville. New episode, Saturday at 8, 7 central. I've always been a huge tech enthusiast. I've been interested in microchip implants, but it wasn't until two years ago in 2020 that I decided to get my first one, which I put in my left hand. This one opens the door to my house. About two months ago, I got a new chip in my right hand, which is about the size of a small paper clip. I can just simply walk up to the car, tap my right hand onto the pillar of the car. The car will unlock. I can get into the car, tap my right hand onto the console of the car, and then the car will start. I wanted to be able to leave the house without my car key, without my house key, and without my wallet, and still be able to function as I would normally. So now I never have to worry about losing anything important. Some people think I'm a little bit crazy doing this sort of thing, but for me, I love it. I've been called a cyborg or a chip boy online, and um, I don't have any problem with that. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> well, we're back talking about human microchipping. Now, while Anastasia says she has 47 implants, how does the everyday American feel about microchipping? Uh, and I'm curious, does anybody here have a microchip? Raise your hand if you do. Okay, nobody here does. So not a big seller so far. Uh, how many of you would get a microchip? Raise your hand. Okay, three, four, five, Come six, on. seven. Yeah. Well, like maybe eight people yeah. out of 8%. Uh, okay. Well, you just saw Brandon getting into his car using just his hand. So joining us on stage is Brandon, a healthcare technologist and tech enthusiast, and Emil Grafstra, founder and CEO of VivaKey Technologies, whose goal is to educate others on the benefits of human microchipping. And clearly there are benefits, right, Emil? Indeed, yeah. There are many benefits. Yeah. Um, just from basic identity to essentially future of secure communications and uh, like ultimate convenience. That's, that's really the goal. When you're a kid, you run out of the house and you don't have your wallet, you don't have keys, you don't have nothing. That's freedom. You run out and you're like, yes. You try that as an adult. You'll have a panic attack. You're right. Like, oh, I need my keys, my phone, and my wallet. Oh my gosh. So being able to um, kind of make you the most important part of your identity, both physically and digitally, is what, is what the goal is. I don't want to abdicate that to a phone or a computer or a cloud service. Right. And Brandon, that's what got you to do this, right? It's just the freedom of not having to worry about that. Well, yeah, uh, definitely. Well, that and I wear really tight pants. So it's yeah. been like more <laughs> difficult to squeeze all that into the pockets. But 
But no, I mean, I've been following Emil's work since probably about 2014. And uh, it wasn't until, I'd say, two years ago where he finally had a chip offering that made sense to me that was for uh, use cases that I knew I could use every day. And that's when I put in the, the smaller chip that's about the size of a grain of rice right here into my hand, which controls my front door, my back door. I do have um, my COVID vax card on it, which came in super handy because I was at a concert. They want a proof of vax. Tap your phone to your hand, up pops your VAX card. Links to portfolio, contact information. If you ever want to exchange information, you tap your phone to my hand, instantly download my contact information. So extremely useful. Uh, two months ago, I got the, the larger chip, which is yeah about the size of a small paper clip. It sits between my uh, pinky and then my ring finger right here. And that is a smart chip. So what's fascinating to me is just like your phone, you can download and install applications right into your body to give your appendages abilities they were never meant to. I feel like I have a superpower. It's like uh, my hands can do things and, and you know, continually evolve in their capabilities uh, you know, for however long you're developing apps. And that's pretty cool because who else can really say they can do something like that? So you brought some objects with, with you, and also let's look at some of those. What, sure. what, what do your chips do? So this is just the type of door lock that I have in my house, just a deadbolt, and uh, you can walk up to the door, activate it, tap the implant, and you're in. There's no fiddling around with pin codes or keys or anything like that. You just, you just go in. Uh, all the doors in my life just open at my command, basically. I have a chip in yeah. my knee that will unlock the door when my hands are full of groceries. So I have it in my hand, and I also have one in my knees. I just go boop. Uh -huh. So there's a couple other things I could yeah, show. Yeah, show me yeah. what you got. So um, essentially this is the kit, and then you take that kit to a professional body piercer or a medical doctor. They perform a simple installation, which just involves tenting the skin a little bit, maybe doing some topical numbing or maybe some local. Uh, then you just slide the injector in, eject the chip, and out, and then you get a Band-Aid, and you're off to the races. So that's it. We also have a wearable version coming out. Um, so the, the difference, of course, is that if you lose this, and you've kind of tied all of your security and digital identity to it, then you've lost it. Uh, and that's kind of the benefit of the implant is that you can't lose it or forget it. All right, well, my next guest has some security concerns about microchipping, so we're gonna add her to the conversation after the break. We'll be right back. As soon as you start programming, the smarter the chip, the greater opportunity I have to hack it. How is it any different if they have that on their phone or they have it on their laptop versus being in their body? Real honest to goodness love. Mama wanna tell you where it's at, I wanna get that. I was made for this. Y'all ready for this? There's something new from Better Than Bullion. Introducing the Culinary Collection. Exciting new flavors like sofrito for casseroles or adobo for fajitas, each adding a little something special to all your family favorites. But don't take our word for it. The Culinary Collection from Better Than Bullion. On Christmas Day, we were in the hospital. It was her first Christmas. It was our first Christmas being parents. I didn't know a lot about brain tumors. And what I had heard wasn't good. I certainly never dreamed that I would be fighting for her life. Families never receive a bill from St. Jude for treatment, travel, housing, or food, so they can focus on helping their child live. You can make a difference. Please become a St. Jude Partner in Hope right now. My dreams are to watch her grow up. If we didn't come to St. Jude, I really feel that Felicity wouldn't be with us. Please call or go online right now and become a St. Jude Partner in Hope today. There's used, there's certified, and then there's BMW certified. With a rigorous inspection by BMW trained technicians, 100% genuine BMW parts, an additional one year unlimited mileage warranty, and a BMW certified dealer network you can count on, you'll truly feel the BMW certified difference. BMW, the ultimate certified machine. Exceptional offers available through BMW Financial Services. It's a new leader in town. Are well, you the one just threatening me? Bam, don't baby, 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 ba
My name is Chip Girl. Yes, you heard me right. Chip Girl. It is a type of technology that can do many things. One of them being opening a door. It also opens our bedroom door. As well as our office. As well as the drawers in our office. Our closet is chipped. And this is really cool. We can chip all of the doors. Look, look at it. We can even lock up our towels. See? We also chipped the gym. And the elevator. What the tech? Oh, whoops, it was already unlocked. Ta-da! We've also chippied the hallway and the cinema room. We also entertain a lot. So having a door and a door over there helps because we're able to lock it if we have parties and we don't want people to go on specific sides of the house. All it really is is a form of technology that we can program to do cool things around our house. Well, we've heard what my guests uh, feel are benefits of human microchipping, but what about the concerns? Joining us on stage is Michelle Dennity, CEO of Privacy Code, Inc., and partner at Provatus Consulting, who is concerned about consumers' privacy. What are the concerns uh, about human microchipping? Yeah, so I think it's really important first to really define what do we mean by security and what do we, we mean by privacy, because there's issues for both of those kind of categories of problems. So privacy is really the ability to tell your own story, when you want, to whom you want, where you want. It's a very complex concept because it's not just what are your kind of booping at the door, it's what's being said about you in the data center behind you. So there's an entire sort of flow of information, that's privacy. Security is really the category of making sure you don't lose information or have someone get into the middle. So for, for example, what we call it, a monster in the middle or a man in the middle attack is when someone gets in between your chip information and the door and says this is no longer authenticated. Some of these early things, that's not really an issue. There's not a lot of data. There's not a lot of state. As soon as you start programming, the smarter the chip, the, the, the greater opportunity I have to hack it. And these folks are really pioneers and artists. And we need to have that exploration, I think, before this is something for you know, everyone. How is it any different if they have that on their phone or they have it on their laptop versus being in their body? Um, What's the difference? Part of it is just the ease of change. So you lose your credit card, you can snip, snip, get a new one. It's a lot harder to, to cut out or something that's implanted. The other things are structurally the way we look at the data that's coming and emanating. So if you put something inside your body, you're now in a new category of liability. You're, it's a different thing. In California, as of January 1st of 2023, if it's in my body, it's now biometric information, and it's prohibited unless there are very significantly small circumstances. But can't they just, if they wanted to for any reason, can't they just wipe that chip at any time yeah, and take all the data off of it? Yeah, there's a lot of mitigating factors, and, and privacy and security are obviously concerns. But in general, when you're using a credit card to make payments or when you're using a key card, any of those modes, uh, you think of the, the activity as doing the same thing, just a different form factor, a different shape. Uh, it's a device that's in your body and not in your pocket. I would say that probably the idea of, you know, having a slippery slope argument, well, in the future, it'll be able to do all this stuff is not really relevant. Um, and particularly the idea of scanning it at range isn't really, uh, uh, it's a physics issue. It's not a software or technology issue. Well, there aren't any batteries in these chips, No right? batteries, no. no. No batteries. So you have to be really close. Yeah. I mean, you saw how yeah. close you have it's, to be. It's got to be almost touching. I mean, yeah. so that's why, and I think uh, there's so much misinformation out there right now where people were like, you know, oh, I can just walk by you with my phone and like swipe it past. I'm like, no, it's it's not that easy. And Directional. Then it's exactly, and you have to know the, the orientation yeah. and everything. So it's like, even if somebody knew I had one, they would have to be physically in my space I, there's no way they could do it without me feeling it or seeing what's going on. And they would have to know I had them. You know, I'm not putting anything on here that I don't want. I wouldn't want the public to see. I mean, I have public information on there. I think the worst things I, I was reading online after I had my video uh, out there was people talking about f physically cutting off my hand. They're like, well, you better better not run into you because I cut off your hand and steal your car. I'm like, well, that's a, that's a whole different situation that we're dealing with then if that's what we're getting to. You can just have my phone at that point. Yes, sir. Concerns. Dr. Phil, before you asked uh, how many of you would have an implant, I didn't lift up my hand, but there's one case who would do it. Elon Musk is wanting to put implants into the head to help people with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. If I got Parkinson's disease, I would seriously consider an implant. 
But other concerns I have, I, I, I wouldn't do it for convenience sake, guys. I, I, I couldn't care less. If I forget my password, I'm going to write it on the back of my hand. I'm not going to have it implanted in the back of my hand. We've got to take a break. My next guest I want to add to our conversation here uh, would never think about getting a microchip, uh, yet alone using a microwave. Why? Well, we'll talk to him after the break. I think we can just nip this all in the bud right now because these devices are passive. So what does having that chip in your body for 20 years do on average to a population of 20,000 people? Nothing. Closed captioning provided by... Hey, did you hear? There are new COVID-19 booster shots designed for recent Omicron variants. Pfizer. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. Schedule yours at vaccines.gov. <coughs> this cough. <coughs> this will help. Vicks Vapor Rub? Vicks Vapor Rub's medicated vapors go straight to the source of your cough, so you can relieve your cough to breathe easier. Vicks Vapor Rub, fast acting cough relief. Theo's nose was cause for alarm, so Dad brought Puffs Plus Lotion to save it from harm. Puffs has 50% more lotion and brings soothing relief. Don't get burned by winter nose. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. America's number one lotion tissue. Are you ready for a fresh new bath or shower? Well, now is the best time. With 50% off installation, free fixtures, and no interest, and no payments for one year. Hi, I'm Christina, and it's time to flip your old worn out bath or shower with Jacuzzi Bath Remodel today. Everyone knows the Jacuzzi brand, but did you know they can install a gorgeous bath or shower that feels incredible in as little as one day? Now that's the total bathroom beauty that I love at a price you can afford. With one call to Jacuzzi Bath Remodel, you can effortlessly transform that old, ugly eyesore into the stunning bath or shower of your dreams that you'll love for years to come. Call or go online to jacuzzibathremodel.com to get up to 50% off installation and you may qualify for no interest and no payments for 12 months. Plus, we're including free fixtures. Go to jacuzzibathremodel.com or call 800-990-3706. Call now. With lazy sour cream, every bite gets better. Every dollop, every squeeze, every moment together. Hop it up, pick it up, you can never get enough. When you do, do a dollop all day. Daisy. Good food tastes better with a dollop of Daisy. Do a dollop, do, do. Next on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I think I saw an interview and uh, they asked Mel how she doing with Martel's new boo thing. Oh. She felt probably happier when he was leveling down. Mm -hmm. But the level up is kind of a gut punch. Hey, Martel. Hey, what up? And don't keep me outside all this damn Yeah, heat. it's outside today. You gonna invite me to that house? Don't play with me like that. Love and Marriage Huntsville. New episode, Saturday at 8, 7 central. I'm taking you down bit by bit. I can't wait to see you try. It's only just begun. Surgically implanting computers into humans is dangerous. Just how dangerous, we don't know yet, because that's how they release technology. As long as it doesn't kill you instantly or almost instantly, it's deemed safe for sale. And then it's five, 10, 20 years later, we learn that it causes cancer, autism, birth defects, and more. But by that point, we've become so dependent on the technology, we choose to live with the disease. But these exposures, these are crazy. We're talking about literally inside the body, point blank range with zero distance, day in, day out for years on end. What impact will that have? We don't know, but I can tell you it won't be good. Well, we're back talking about technology under our skin. And my next guest, who you just saw, says the electromagnetic frequency in technology is bad for your health, so much so that he doesn't have a microwave. So joining us on stage is R, who believes human microchipping is dangerous and technology needs to be safer to use. You said we don't know what the effects are, 
but we know they're not good. How do you know they're not good? Well, we now know, I mean, we have decades of science now on the health effects of EMF radiation. We're talking about thousands of studies at this point, high quality peer reviewed science that links these exposures uh, to numerous negative health outcomes ranging from infertility and anxiety all the way up to, to multiple types of cancer and tumors and Alzheimer's disease and many, many more. Well, well, I well, well, well but, but wait a minute, that's, you're saying that in broad generalization and that can be true if you're bombarded with really high levels uh, that's not true for people just sitting here under these lights. So what I'm talking about, the science I'm talking about, is that orders, uh, exposures at multiple orders of magnitude lower than uh, what safety standards allow and then what you would get from a regular cell phone. I think we can just nip this all in the bud right now because these devices are passive. It means when they're not in the seconds of exposure of a very low frequency, low power field, they're dead. They're inert. They have no energy whatsoever. So, so. what does having that chip in your body for 20 years do on average to a population of 20,000 people? Nothing. We know we've used this exact material since the 70s. There's been almost zero evidence of any kind of irritation in fact, this material... My understanding is that there's multiple studies dating from the 90s and the early 2000s demonstrating increased rates of tumor growth. No, nope. those are incorrect. And Actually, what studies what are you referring to? I'm talking about, well, I think... Yeah, you, so uh, there are three he, studies that, that were referenced, but these are all studies that were tumor studies in animals either genetically engineered to get tumors in order to study the tumors or chemically induced tumors. The outcomes of the studies were noted that, oh, you know what, around the implants in these animals that we're using to ID them, there were a tumor, but alongside 50 other tumors in these bodies. And it wasn't all, it was about 8% of those animals. So it was just a note in the study. But there are people that want to benefit off of this, people that write certain kind of books and certain kind of scare tactics, and they use these studies to say, look, it's bad, and this is all coming for you, and we want to sell you a book. Well, you, um, you have to look at the risk-reward ratio. I mean, for example, we've got 1.43 million people globally that have pacemakers in their body that use electrical impulses. We have 200,000 people that have uh, brain implants right now that are used to control Parkinson's and other type things. We, we have... Uh, yeah, no, the benefits there are incredibly tangible. Yeah. They're immediate, they're life-saving, they alter the quality of life. That is, I would say, quite different from opening your Tesla. <laughs> yeah, but those people aren't getting cancer from their pacemakers, and they're not well, having uh, adverse we, reactions to the EMF technology, right? Yeah. Things that are in the bodies are not well, causing Well, in fairness, you had one break inside your body. Right. You're having now to test for heavy metals and all I the am. Right now I'm there. waiting for a hair test to see if any heavy metals leached into my system from the PCB board, and I will follow through with chelation therapy and anything else I have to do, but I'm... I'm so there are risks, not just EMF, but there right, are oh, risks. Right, oh, correct, there, yeah. There's sure. I mean, that's how technology is deployed, right? Yeah, I mean, when people assume that when something is available for sale, it is safe, mm -hmm. but it is never tested uh, for these long-term health effects. What we get uh, are... Well, that's uh, not true. You just said it's never tested longitudinally, and that's just not true. Is it even medically safe to get a human microchip? We'll discuss all of that after the break. captioning provided by there is nothing hotter than real honest to goodness love mama wanna tell you where it's at i wanna get that i was made for this get with it or get lost you dropped the ball big time i'm throwing y'all my very own miami yacht part it just shook up all of the dynamics y'all ready for this Dude, you coming? Alka-Seltzer Plus Power Max gels with more concentrated power. Because the only thing dripping should be your style. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. With Alka-Seltzer Plus. Also try for fast sinus and pain relief. Smooth dark chocolate, refreshing peppermint. Enter York mode. Rich chocolate candy and creamy caramel. That's how you roll them. I tried everything to remove fabric odors, but my clothes still smelled. Until I finally found new Downy Rinse and Refresh. Unlike many other products, Downy Rinse and Refresh doesn't cover odors or leave residues. It helps remove them. It's safe on all fabrics and gentle on skin. Just add to your fabric softener tray. 
Downy Rinse and Refresh helps remove odors up to three times better than detergent alone, so fabrics look and smell clean. Try new Downy Rinse and Refresh, guaranteed or your money back. Find it in the fabric softener aisle or online. Dogs don't know what's good for them, like not being able to leave a good stick alone. Greenies Dental Treats, something better for your dog to chew on. Suffering from sinus congestion, especially at night? Try Vicks Sinex for instant relief that lasts up to 12 hours. Vicks Sinex targets congestion at the source, relieving nasal congestion and sinus pressure by reducing swelling in the sinuses. Try Vicks Sinex. America's most iconic foods are now shipping nationwide. So if you want the best New York bagel, legendary Texas brisket, Ina Garten's famous chocolate cake, Chicago's iconic deep dish pizza, seafood from Seattle's most famous market, or the viral sensation pie cake and gold belly in. Shipping the greatest food gifts in the world to your door. Order today and get free shipping anywhere nationwide. on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I think I saw an interview and uh, they asked Mel how she doing with Martell's new boo thing. Oh. She felt probably happier when he was leveling down. Mm -hmm. But the level up is kind of a gut punch. Hey, Martell. Hey, what up? And hey, don't keep me outside all this damn Yeah, heat. it's outside today. You gonna invite me to that house? Don't play with me like that. Love and Marriage Huntsville. New episode, Saturday at 8, 7 Central. This car is being driven entirely by one man's mind. It's technology that could one day change the lives of people who are mobility challenged. This week, German Aldana Zuniga made it all look effortless, despite not touching the throttle a single time. This is my accident. I don't have no mobility below my waist. Nine years after that life-altering car wreck, Zuniga is using his thoughts to drive. Zuniga can communicate between a microchip on his brain and a computer in the car. Zuniga can now use his mind to move the car in this specialized helmet to steer it, a task once unthinkable, now possible with focus and practice. It responds to what you think. It's just incredible. All hour long, we've been discussing the pros and cons about human microchipping. Also here today is my good friend and world-renowned psychiatrist, Dr. Charles Sophie. Um, he's also written a book recently that is now a number one national bestseller titled Family Values, Reset Trust, Boundaries, and Connection with Your Child. I've asked him here to address some of the medical and ethical concerns with human microchipping. There are issues with putting any foreign object in your body, right? Yes, absolutely, and the procedure too. Yeah. You know, is it done sterile? Is it done the right way? And what do you think about this being done not by a doctor? Well, it seems innocuous, but I don't know. Does it doesn't need to be approved by the Board of Health. So the, the body piercers that we work with, they're uh, licensed in Bonnet and their studios are all checked by Boards of Health. Right. Uh, we only work with partners that are uh, approved and licensed in their state to, to work with body jewelry, which is essentially this is functional yeah. body jewelry. Yeah. And actually, if I could just comment on that really quick, I, I think I would trust my piercer who put this in, who has 14 years of needlework, uh, to, to place these things into my body than even a doctor that has maybe never done anything of this sort of thing before. What's the biggest thing that can go wrong with inserting these in the body? Is it infection or Infection, what? absolutely. Yeah. And then they could get, you know, stuck in there. They don't come out. But you have to remember, it's just not health, it's mental health also. So hmm. you guys might be stable, I don't know, mental health-wise. Uh, but yeah. that's debatable. if it's somebody debatable. isn't and they have a little bit of anxiety, you get some paranoia going oh, right. and you have somebody who is now paranoid that somebody can read through them yes. and they get a gun. I would say that though, that's probably an onset symptom of a neurological problem right. that it really doesn't have anything to do with the chip. I guess yeah, what I'm trying to know. say is we should have some kind of parameters before somebody gets it because if they get paranoid with it in them, even if it's not a reality. Paranoid about the ink of a tattoo as well though? I mean no. like yeah. where do you I mean, draw no, the line? No, paranoid from the fact that somebody's following them. Right. And that's not a reality based right. thing, exactly. but it still stays in their head. I will say because that. Because we, we treat a lot of delusions that don't well, go away, no yeah, matter it's what. Not a, it's not all a delusion because your digital footprint is following it's there, you. Right. It's not necessarily because of the chip. 
Right. But it but it becomes indelible. It becomes something you can't take off, like a ring or a wallet or a card in your thing. But you your that digital it's footprint is following right. this, you this around. Yeah, but thing. you're the dealing with somebody who's not reality based at a certain sure. point. And then I, what I've do we do? People um, that have gotten it and then immediately had this issue, and they're like, oh, I don't want it. And then they just, I said, okay. great, go to your doctor and have, and they did. You know, well, we so have that's to why take a break. Um, we've had a lot of people ask uh, a question. Would Dr. Phil ever get chipped? All right, come on. I'll give you the answer right after the break. Do it. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis persists, put it in check with Rinvoke, a once daily pill. When UC got unpredictable, I got rapid symptom relief with Rinvoke. Check. When UC held me back, I got lasting steroid free remission with Rinvoke. Check. And when UC got the upper hand, Rinvoke helped, helped visibly repair, repair the colon, colon lining. lining. Check. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free remission, and a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how AbbVie could help you save. Who says you have to spend more on skincare to get results? I power up my skin with Olay. It works, guaranteed. Try niacinamide for strength, retinol 24 for smoothness, and vitamin C for brightness. I like to use them all. Olay, face anything. Dude, you coming? Because the only thing dripping should be your style. Plop, plop is fizz with Elka-Seltzer Plus cold and flu relief. Also try for fizzy fast cough relief. COVID-19, some people get it and some people can get it bad. And for those who do get it bad, it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, asthma, or smoking. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, don't wait. Ask your healthcare provider right away if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. It's a new leader in town. Yeah. Are you the one just threatening me? Bam, your oh, baby, bam. Here. That's, That's what, what I, I say. Come for me, go low. If you want to, I'm going to hell. Okay? Biohacking the New kind of human evolution. Uh, this is a little Samsung door lock, a little deadbolt. And I can push the button and present my tag, and it unlocks. So that's the deadbolt. Oh, thank you. Uh, biohackers look at it a little differently. Uh, we see the body as a sport utility vehicle for the brain. So <laughs> the brain is ourselves, and uh, our body is a pretty cool, you know, adaptable, flexible, and now upgradable sport utility vehicle. Well, we're back talking about human microchipping, and people have asked, would I ever do it? Uh, the answer is yes. I, I would do it in a number of ways. Uh, I would do it if I needed a pacemaker. Uh, I would do it if I needed something control, to control Parkinson's. I would do it if I needed something to control seizures. A lot of these things have been going on for a long time. People just didn't call them uh, human microchipping. We have smart clothing. I, I don't know if people pay attention to that, that provide biometric data, like heart and breathing rate. Yeah. This is a multi-billion dollar industry when you take all of this stuff into account. Uh, the percentage of people that have a smartphone, uh, which I swear uh, is attached to most people's body. I, I, I don't know that I, you see people, you ever see them without this attached to their hand. Yeah. Uh, and is this the wave of the future? I don't see how it cannot be. You had a question or comment? I was just thinking earlier when you said you can walk out the door as a kid without anything. Is there ever a time that, like, I, I, I like to go off the grid a little bit and yeah. it will always be with you no matter where you go. That's true, but I, the, the, the design tenant that we have is that it needs to be frictionless, it needs to be managementless, it needs to be like your kidneys. 
your kidneys are in there working hard for you, but you don't give them a second thought. And that's the same thing for a well-designed technology. So at what point are we just people and not robots? Is what well, I... If you have a tooth filling, you're not, but you know, it's the same thing. We're augmenting ourselves and repairing things and improving ourselves. You can't yeah. be just a human. I mean, that's a, that's a cochlear implants, hearing aids, all these devices we wear to help us function as normal. I mean, no one's making you do it though. If right. you don't want to do it, yeah, you don't exactly. have to do it. I just think out of convenience against... versus medically is a different. Okay, well, just remember a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, you heard this conversation first right here on Dr. Phil about <laughs> microchipping. Just ahead, don't let a packed holiday schedule stress you out. I'm gonna show you how to keep that from happening when we come back. captioning provided by there is nothing hotter than real honest to goodness love Mama wanna tell you where it's at. I, wanna get that. I was made for this get with it or get lost you dropped the ball big time i'm throwing y'all my very own miami yacht part it just shook up all of the dynamics y'all ready for this Dancing is everything. Soccer is the best. But her moderate to severe eczema could make it hard for her. My skin was so itchy and my outfit was uncomfortable. Now, my skin's not as itchy. Now, we're staying ahead of her eczema. There's a power inside all of us to live our passion. And Dupixent works on the inside to help heal your skin from within. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema so they can have clearer skin and less itch. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Healing from within is a wonderful thing. Ask your child's eczema specialist how Dupixin can help heal their skin from within. There's something new from Better Than Bullion. Introducing the Culinary Collection, chef-created flavor combinations like smoky chipotle and Italian herb that add a little something special to your family favorites. But don't take our word for it. Mwah. The Culinary Collection from Better Than Bullion. This is exactly why we chose Leaf Filter. Before Leaf Filter, our gutters would get so clogged. I used to have to climb up on that roof. Leaf Filter was a lifesaver. The Leaf Filter installation process was so simple and easy. When the salesman gave us interest-free financing and the price was right, it was a no-brainer. Our downspouts flow freely now. My home is better protected. Thank you, Leaf Filter. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or go to GetLeafFilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Call or log on today and save 15%. For some, the rush of life is also the rush of escape. This is the BMW X1. Take control of your next adventure with a bolder design and more versatile performance. This X1 is ready for that journey. From exhilarating all-wheel drive to the intelligent BMW curved display, your next escape is as simple as starting the engine. The X1 BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Next on Love & Marriage Huntsville. I think I saw an interview, and uh, they asked Mel how she doing with Martel's new boo thing. Oh! She felt probably happier when he was leveling down. Mm -hmm. But the level up is kind of a gut punch. Martel? Hey, what up? And don't keep me outside all this damn Yeah, heat. it's outside today. You gonna invite me to that house? Don't play with me like that. Love and Marriage Huntsville. New episode, Saturday at 8, 7 Central. Well, I don't know about you, but it seems to me like this year has just flown by. Does it seem that way to y'all? Yeah. I, I don't know why, but it seems like it's really fast. It's hard to believe the holidays are already here, and if you're anything like me or my next guest, Brittany, you've been trying to maintain your sanity amongst all the holiday hustle and bustle. So, Brittany, welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, thanks, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here, because like I said, there's been a lot of hustle and bustle. So, what does the holiday season look like for you? 
Dr. Phil, this time of year can get really crazy for my family and me. It's a lot of fun, but there's just always so much going on. My family and I go to several holiday dinners with different sides of the family. I do a lot of baking for those get-togethers. And of course, there's also the house decorating, Christmas tree decorating, gift wrapping, shopping, all that stuff to get ready for the big day. It's fun and exciting. It's just a lot of work. Yeah, look, I'm sure there's lots of people watching who deal with that same too much to do and not enough time to do it. And that just ends up being stressful. And is there anything that you do that's just enjoyable, relaxing, stress-free? My husband, daughter, and I like to go to the local Christmas parades in our town and around the other towns. Um, we drive around different neighborhoods looking at Christmas lights. And when I have a minute for myself, there's an app game I love playing called Best Fiends. It is so much fun. The holidays can certainly be a, a busy time of year. And though it's a season of giving, it, it's also important to give to yourself by taking really regular breaks and doing things just for you. And you have to learn to say no to some things and some people. Sometimes you just got to stay home, say, hey, not going to do it, not going to do it. And it sounds like you found a way to do that playing the game. Yes. So what do you love most about it? It helps me relax. Um, I love collecting the little fiends in them. It's, they're so cute. Every time you level them up, they get bigger. <laughs> um, there's always new levels, new events, stuff to keep it challenging for me. And it's, it's just a really good way to pass time. I started playing Best Fiends about a year ago, and I'm already on level 3,384. And I also have a few friends that play Best Fiends as well. 3,384? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're not baking cookies. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, yeah, you ain't baking cookies. Well, how about you play a game right now Sounds and get that level under your belt? So let's, let's see what you got. And what we're talking about is a game, Best Fiends, not Friends, Fiends is a relaxing puzzle game. And it's got, as you heard, thousands of levels and challenging events to play. It's easy to learn, but hard to master. And it really keeps your brain stimulated and making it the perfect combination of challenge and fun. And the best of all, you can use it offline. So you can get some me time anywhere and can even play while you're traveling. So this holiday season, you can give yourself the gift of fun and relax your mind with this interactive game. So how are you doing? Doing pretty good. And I'm glad that you found something that brings you calm during the busy time of year. But to help you with your holiday shopping, Best Fiends is giving you a $100 e-gift card Aww. to spend on anything you like. Uh, awesome. So if you're looking for a fun and relaxing break uh, on your phone any time of year, just go to the App Store or Google Play and you can download Best Fiends for free today. Remember, it's like Best Friends, but without the R. Okay? I want to thank all of my guests today. Brittany, thank you thank for being you. here. Thank you for playing the game. Uh, before we go, I want to share with you some highlights from our weekend. Uh, Robin and I were honorees at the Thalians Gala at the Hollywood Museum. The Thalians were started 67 years ago by Hollywood stars whose mission was to bring awareness to mental health. Debbie Reynolds was elected president, and she held that role until she passed in 2016. Since they began, the Thalians have raised over $50 million to help combat mental illness and the stigma that often accompanies it. Currently, they are focused on healing our wounded warriors in mind, body, and spirit via UCLA's Operation Mend. In the past, their galas have honored people all the way back, including Lucille Ball, Frank Sinatra, Whoopi Goldberg, Sally Field, Smokey Robinson, just to name a few. And to say that Robin and I are honored to be in the company of those superstars is a complete understatement. Take a look. When I think of Dr. Phil, I think of kindness and support and heart. I look at the relationship of Phil and Robin, and I'm envious of their beautiful life together. I feel like they bring a lot of important subjects to the surface that we get to discuss. I love Dr. Phil. Yeah, he's great. I mean, he brings comfort, he brings inspiration to the, to the masses, and we're all for it. I think discussing mental health 
has finally gotten its day. I think what Dr. Phil has done and Robin is made the awareness of these issues immediate to everyday Americans. Just to be honored for something that we are proud to be doing, I'm thrilled. To think that in 1955, a group of people came together at Jane Mansfield's house and started something that here in 2022 is thriving, still focused on mental illness, and for us to have the honor to be part of that really means a lot. For 67 years, the Thalians has provided resources and research and money for mental health, and we're so excited for the pivot to our veterans. I deployed to Afghanistan in 2007. My vehicle was struck by a roadside bomb. So I want to say thank you to Operation Men for giving me a life I never thought I would have, and the Thelians for supporting Operation Men. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Thalians 2022 recipients of Mr. and Ms. Wonderful, Dr. Phil and Robin McGraw. This has been a most unbelievable evening. Philip and I feel incredibly close and connected to the Thalians because we shared so many life experiences fighting against the stigma surrounding mental illness, as well as the challenges of helping our men and women wounded in battle, because the journey back home is truly a partnership. I am so proud to be standing here with Robin. Look at the passion, the energy, the millions of dollars, and how many lives that has impacted. We want this to be the beginning of a partnership. Thank you very much. We, we really want to thank the Thalians and their chairwoman emeritus, actress uh, Ruta Lee, uh, for being our wonderful host for the evening. If you would like to learn more about the important work they do, you can go to Thalians.org. You can also find a link on DrPhil.com. So thanks to all of you. Happy holidays. We'll see you next time. Today on an all new Dr. Phil. They say their mom has a new look. She's lost how much weight? 150 pounds. A new attitude. I went postal. Were you flipping us off? I may have, but when I get upset, who knows what I do. You were double flipping us off. Well, there were two of you. And a new personality. My mother is very promiscuous. She goes through boyfriends like a revolving door. You said she met a random truck driver in a parking lot. She's meeting semi-drivers, getting in the truck with them, and having sex. That's false. Mom, it's true. I'm not going to say I did something I did not do. You either meet somebody in a parking lot and get up in their truck or you don't. I'm just wanting to know the truth. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. Five, four. I am not giving up on you. to the show for my help. Her out of control partying mom, Teresa, is driving her crazy. Now she and her sister Charlie claim that after their mother lost over a hundred pounds and her husband passed away, she has just abandoned motherhood to drink, hang out in bars, and bounce from one random man to the next. But Teresa says, look, I'm done being a caretaker. And if her family can't be happy for her, well, that's on them. Now, you may think this story ends there. Well, not even close. In fact, the more we began to dig in and conduct our pre-interviews with the entire family, 
we discovered even a bigger problem. Turns out Teresa isn't just meeting random men in bars, but is currently talking to not one, not two, but at least three different men online who she's never met. Her children claim Teresa has tried to sell her house and furniture to help these men she has never laid eyes on. Teresa says her children need to just back off and let her have her freedom. She says she felt trapped like a prisoner in her own home. If she continues down this road, she may be a real prisoner. Take a look. My mom is very selfish and self-absorbed right now. My mom has decided she's going to party. She got worse after my dad passed in 2013. My mother is very promiscuous and reckless. My mother has dated a lot of men in the last two to three years. At one point, she had two men living in the house with her at the same time. My mom has had dramatic weight loss in the last couple of years. She had gastric bypass, a lap band, and had a tummy tuck after that. My mom has lost close to 150 pounds. She has never been this thin. She's really enjoying seeking out attention from men. She's meeting semi-drivers at our Walmart store, getting in the truck with them and having sex with them. My mom is frequently drunk. Two years ago, my mom ended up in the hospital because she was so drunk. She fell off a bar stool. She had a huge bruise on her forehead. She spends a lot of money on clothes right now. She should be paying her utilities, and instead she's choosing to spend the money on clothes. And now my mother has become involved with men online. She's convinced these men are real. These men are telling my mom they are stuck overseas and they want to get back to be with her forever. My mom has sent close to $7,000 overseas to a gentleman named Target. My mom got in trouble for fraud. These online scammers would send her checks, and then she would deposit those checks into her bank account and then send them a portion of the money back. They sent two checks for $2,500 each. And then my mom wired the $5,000 back to this person. They were bad checks. She had to borrow the money from my grandma and grandpa that they had saved for their funeral to pay it back. I'm worried that she's gonna get swept up in one of these scams and I won't ever see her again. If I try to confront my mom, she'll basically tell me to leave her the hell alone. Okay, guys, you're clearly concerned about your mom and her safety, right? Yes. So what is it she's doing that you're most concerned about? She's completely out of control since my dad died. She's being really reckless and you know, destructive. And he passed away when? In 2013. Okay, and I'm very sorry for your loss. Okay. I understand it was a prolonged illness. Yes. And how long after that did she kind of cut loose? I think she moved her next boyfriend in, which is her dad, um, within a month. You said it's her? It's her dad. We're half-sisters. We're half-sisters. Right. Okay, so she moves him back in. She goes back to him. Yes. But that didn't work out. No, Correct. Not. You guys have concerns about specific behaviors. I kind of made a list. After you know, we talked to you all, you answered a lot of questions. Thank you very much. Um, you said she's partying a lot. Mm -hmm. Fell off a bar stool, bruised her eye socket. I mean, it got so bad, hit herself, bruised her eye socket. You think she's driving drunk. Um, she's out riding a dirt bike, and she's promiscuous. You think she's actually kind of hopping from man to man? Yes. Okay. Um, multiple online boyfriends and she's wiring money. And they're conning her with this fake check scam mm -hmm. where they say, okay, look, I, I don't want money from you. I want to give you money. I'm going to send you money. I don't want any money from you. I'm going to send you money. And they send her money and say, will you now send me back some of my money? Mm -hmm. And they're playing the float. And so before that check can clear, they ask for money back. She sends some good money, then their check doesn't clear, and then right. she's on the hook for several thousand dollars. Yes. And the bank's looking at her for fraud, right? She's selling her possessions. Why? She approached me about buying her house because she wants to just leave everything behind, and she's convinced one of these online relationships is actually real and that she's going to meet up with him in Florida and live happily ever after. And which one was this? That would have been Jeffrey. 
this was Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're saying she lies, uses money for cosmetic surgery, spends it on clothes, but doesn't pay her bills. Correct. Okay. And that she's accused of fraud because the grandchildren have Social Security money that's come in, and you think she's misappropriated that, and then adult abuse because you think she's bleeding your grandparents yes. to the point that she no longer has access to the grandparents' funds. Correct. Now, you said she met a random truck driver uh, in a parking lot? At our local Walmart. I had a friend who saw her get into the semi with the semi driver and I called her and she denied it so I went down to see if her car was actually there and her car was parked right where the friend said that she had got into the semi with the driver. How do you meet a truck driver in a Walmart parking lot? <laughs> well you just like go... <laughs> we don't know. Could have been online, could have been anything. So you think it was a rendezvous that was set up? Could have been. Oh, yeah. It was this, that she just pulled up next to the truck and said, hey. <laughs> I believe it was win. somebody that she maybe met on Facebook and said, if you're coming through town, meet me here. And Would you ever in a million years have thought your mother would have been meeting a truck driver in a parking lot at Walmart? No. No. So something's off the rails here. Oh, yeah. She was caught by a live-in boyfriend having sex with a random guy in the driveway? Yes, yes. And what do you, define random. I guess it was some guy she met at a reunion that what? night. Some guy that she met at a reunion that night, like just met that day. Just met that day? Yes. And, but she had a live-in boyfriend? Correct. Still does. She goes through boyfriends like a revolving door and she cheats on every one of them. Now, she's lost how much weight total? 150 pounds at least. Big difference. There is a big difference. Okay. And I, I want to make it clear, we're happy for our mom that yeah. she feels good about herself.